The Closier Youth Farmers Cooperative is currently undertaking a pilot project that, once completed, would be sustainable and financially viable for the community. Here at the farm located in Closier, the youth organization is combining multiple farming techniques, including the aquaponic system, vermiculture, and composting. This is all part of a new way of farming called Climate Smart Agriculture. Aquaponics is a system of aquaculture in which the waste produced by fish farmed or other aquatic animals supplies nutrients for plants grown. Vermiculture is the process of using worms to decompose organic waste into useful fertilizer. According to the organization's president, M. Hotep Mauto, they are expected to be completed by May of this year. He said one of the main reasons for this project is to reduce farmers' reliance on artificial fertilizers. Closure is an area where it's a heavy farming area. And um, a lot of chemicals and so are being used at present. And um, one of the reasons why we, we piloting this aquaponics project is to see how we could encourage farmers to get away from the use of all this chemical and pesticide and also in helping to conserve the soil. Once the system is installed, it will be powered by both solar and wind energy and have the capability to produce around 700 vegetable plants. Basically, I think that this is the future of agriculture, right? Because soil um, is becoming more scarce and scarce to get space, right? And, and not only that, but the, the, um, the fertility of the soil is, is very low. And um, we don't have this great set of organic manual production to you know, increase fertility in plants. Although we are also involved in um, organic production, we, um, just above there we have a, a series of beans, compost beans, where we um, will be making compost manual and vermiculture also will be practicing. So the whole project, the whole site here, is something to encourage farmers in terms of going to organic and reviving the soil and even the agriculture sector. The project is partially funded by Global Environmental Facility, Jeff, to the tune of close to $100,000. Colin Campbell, GBN News.